Brothers and Sisters. Guten Abend, Geschwister. Let's open with a word of prayer. Lass uns mit einem Gebet anfangen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this blessed day that we could have. Herr, danke für den gesegneten Tag, den wir haben durften. And thank you that your grace is still available for us. Und danke, dass deine Gnade noch immer für uns zugänglich ist. And um, Lord, we want to pray that we can become more consecrated um, to you. Und Herr, wir wollen beten, dass wir dir mehr geweiht werden. And we want to pray as the book of un, a book of Daniel unfolds to us. That it would produce the desired effect in each of our hearts. Dass es den, um, jedes Herz and that would lead us to have this great revival. Und dass es uns dazu führen möge, diese große Erweckung zu haben. So as we continue in this book, please bless us. Und wenn wir jetzt in diesem Buch fortfahren, dann bitte segne uns. And may be for your glory. Und möge es zu deiner Ehre sein. In the name of Jesus. Im Namen Jesu. Amen. Amen. Okay, so, okay, the, this evening we're going to begin in the book of Daniel chapter 9. Und heute Abend werden wir im Buch Daniel 9 anfangen. And um, so, some, some people are asking me for notes. Und manche Leute haben mich um Notizen gebeten. Okay, and we've just been going through the chapter, so, I mean, the, the notes are specifically there, you know, you just got to... Write down the, the Bible verses as we go. Also wir sind durch diese bestimmten Kapitel gegangen und die Notizen sind im Grunde da. Man muss nur die Bibelverse dazu schreiben, die wir Because, uns angeschaut haben. Because you know when I'm doing these particular studies, I don't know in which direction I'm always going, so you know you're going to have to write them down anyway, right? Also wenn ich solche Studien mache, dann weiß ich noch nicht in welche Richtung ich dann immer gehe. Deswegen muss man trotzdem dann Notizen sowieso machen. But what I have done is all the quotes that we've used. Um, I compiled them all and put them in a document and it's there so you can you, you have it. Aber all die Zitate, die wir äh, also benutzt haben, die habe ich jetzt in ein Dokument zusammengestellt ähm, und da, da kann man, könnt ihr das dann für euch äh, lesen. And if we get any more, I will just add them to it and I will repost it. Und wenn wir noch mehr Zitate dann äh, lesen, dann werde ich das noch hinzufügen und wieder posten. Okay, before we um, Before we uh, start in Daniel 9, just go back to Daniel 7. There's a, a, just a couple of points I want to make. Also bevor wir in Daniel 9 anfangen, geht noch mal zurück zu Daniel 7, weil ich möchte noch ein paar Punkte da machen. Okay, and if we go to um, verse 17. Gehen wir zu Vers 17. Okay, so it says here, it says, These great beasts which are four are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. Right, so this is the point where Daniel really the whole vision in Daniel begins from, right? Das ist right? der Punkt, wo die ganze Vision in Daniel eigentlich wirklich anfängt. From the point where it comes out of the air and then speaks like a dragon, right? Von der Punkt, wenn es aus der Erde heraufkommt und dann wird es wie ein Drache sprechen. Same as Revelation 13, right? Dasselbe wie in Offenbarung 13. And the the point is that um, Daniel. The, these four beasts that come out of the sea are just repeating what took place in the 1260. Right? Okay, because here's Revelation 13 verse 1, right? John standing here and he's taken back and he's shown this beast come out, out of the sea, right? Johannes steht hier und er wird zurückgebracht und sieht, wie dieses äh, Tier aus dem Meer kommt. Which is lion, a bear, a leopard and a dragon, right? Ein Löwe, Bär, Leopard und Drache ist. Beast gets a deadly wound. Das Tier bekommt eine tödliche Wunde. Okay, the next one rises up out of the earth and then repeats when it speaks like a dragon, Jetzt right? Jetzt kommt das nächste aus der Erde und dann wiederholt es das die Geschichte, wenn es ähm, wie ein Drache spricht. The lion, the bear, the leopard, the dragon just repeats, right? Und der Löwe, der Bär, der Leopard und der Drache wiederholen sich einfach. So from that we we know that this from here to here 538 to 1798 is 1260. Und davon right? wissen wir dann von hier bis 
Hier, also 5,38 bis 17,98 ist 12,16. Amen. Amen. Right, so we know that when this beast comes up out of the sea here, right, it's 1260. And then, you know, we, um, when you go to, to Daniel, um, yeah, when you go to Daniel 8, right, to Daniel 8 gehen. Or in fact, even before you go to Daniel 8, go just go down to verse uh, 19 in Daniel 7. Before you go to Daniel 8, go down to verse 19 in Daniel 7. Right, and we were talking about this today in Sabbath school. It says, Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, because where's the focus? Darüber haben wir in der Sabbatschule gesprochen, weil, um, wo ist der Fokus drauf? Yeah, the fourth beast, the sixth beast. The, okay, the, this great tribulation, und right? Die große Trübsal. And we showed that this great tribulation in Matthew 24 is the 1260, right? Okay, but when you go to Daniel 8, right? um, if we go to verse 9, right? it says, and out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great towards the south, toward the east, toward the pleasant land. This is this time of peace repeating on the smaller fractal. Right? Das ist diese Zeit des Friedens, die sich auf dem kleineren Fraktal wiederholt. Between the, between the fifth and the sixth plagues, right? Zwischen der fünften und sechsten Plage. Okay, so this leopard like beast or this great horn gets brought down here, right? And then out of one of the four horns comes this pagan roam like a lamb. Right? And right here, it's going to speak like a dragon, it's going to repeat the whole thing, right? Okay, and in verse uh, yeah, and one of them came forth a little horn which waxed exceeding great. There's where it lifts itself up. Da erhebt es sich. Toward the south, toward the east, toward the pleasant land. It's the same three areas that it began at the beginning. Das right? sind dieselben drei Gebiete, wie man das am Anfang sehen konnte. And it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast some of the host of the stars down the ground and stamped upon them. Yea, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily was taken away, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. That's the little horn, right? Das ist das kleine horn. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then you come to verse 12. Wenn wir jetzt aber zu Vers 12 kommen. And verse 12 is the another little horn in Daniel chapter 7. Vers right? 12 ist das weitere kleine horn in Daniel 7. It's now the papacy, das right? Papst. And a host was given him against the daily by reason of transgression. This is Daniel 11, 31. Das ist Daniel 11, Vers 31. Okay, but the, the Bible takes Daniel 11, 31 and puts it here, right? The Bible nimmt Daniel 11, Vers 31. In, in, in Matthew 24, that is. Und Daniel 11, Vers 31 und wendet das in Matthäus 24 um, hier auf an. Okay, but Daniel 8 puts it here. Aber Daniel 8 macht das hier. Because this is this Another little horn, which is the 1260, right? Okay, so these are these fractals, right? Das sind eben diese Fraktale these hier. three times of trouble just showing you, so it's leading you down closer and closer to the end, right? Diese drei Zeiten der die ähm, eben immer enger und enger werden und dich zum Ende führen. Okay, now, now we've got that in place, right? Now go to Daniel 9. Da wir das jetzt am Platz gesetzt haben, gehen wir zu Daniel 9. Okay, so it says, In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the seed of the Medes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Okay, so firstly, 
Daniel is understanding the books of Jeremiah, right? Das erste Mal, Daniel versteht die Bücher von Jeremia. Now we already know we went through this because Jeremiah, Isaiah, Joel, Zephaniah, etc. and Ezekiel. Und wir sind da schon durchgegangen, weil wir wissen, dass Jeremia, Jesaja, Hesekiel, ähm, Joel und Zephaniah. Zephan Zephan yeah, okay, are all representing the test that takes place in this time, right? Dann alle den Test da, der in dieser Zeit stattfindet. And then there's this time of peace here, right? Und dann ist diese Zeit des Friedens hier. And they stand there and warn about what's coming in here, right? Und sie stehen dann hier und warnen vor dem, was hier passiert. So Daniel represents somebody that's hearing the warning given by Jeremiah. Daniel right? stellt also jemanden da, der die Warnung hört, die von Jeremia gegeben wird. Because this was saying the whole focus of the book of Daniel is based around the, the fourth kingdom, right? Weil der ganze Fokus vom Buch Daniel ist basierend auf diesem vierten Königreich. Okay, this this experience and then followed by this experience here, right? Diese Erfahrung hier gefolgt von der Erfahrung hier. Okay, so uh, so, what did he understand from the book of Jeremiah? It says Was hat er vom Buch Jeremia verstanden? that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Right? That is 70 Jahre in den uh, Trümmern von Jerusalem uh, ja, abschließen wird. Okay, first point, right? Erster Punkt. Yesterday, when we was comparing Daniel 7 and Daniel 8, what was the point that both books were showing? Und gestern, als wir Daniel 7 und Daniel 8 verglichen haben, was waren, war der Punkt, den beide dieser Bücher gezeigt haben? Okay. Right. Okay. Das 17. auf 90 und der 22. Oktober prophetisch gesehen derselbe Punkt sind. Okay, just let me know about this stuff here. Okay, so... Um, just do a box, right? So. So you have 17, 98 to 1844, right? 17, 98 bis 1844. 46 years, right? 46 And this itself is an illustration of the Sunday law time period, right? Das an sich ist eine Darstellung der Sonntagsgesetzzeitspanne. Okay, and in this sense, when 1798 is at the beginning, it's just, it's just history, right? Und in diesem Sinne, wenn 1798 hier am Anfang ist, dann ist das nur eine, also geschichtlich so. But if we know that if we take the 1260, it's to be placed on top of this, right? Aber wir wissen, wenn wir die 1260 nehmen, dann muss es darüber gelegt werden. Because then you would have five, 38 to 1798, right? Then we have 1838 to 1798. It's the 1260. That's the 1260. So, the point that we will the Daniel 7 und 8, dann zeigen beide eben, dass 1798 und 1844 das Gericht zeigt. Now, what's the difference prophetically between these two points? Und prophetisch gesehen, was ist der Unterschied zwischen diesen beiden Punkten? I mean, what do they illustrate? Was stellen sie dar? They both mark in the same time prophetically, but they both illustrate something different. Also beides markiert prophetisch gesehen dieselbe Zeit, aber es markiert etwas anderes. Executive that, that's the judgment, das right? Ist das what, what, what is that? And what is that? No, 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 don't, yeah. don't go there. It's the end of what? The investigation. The cluster. It's. Oh, what happened on October 22nd, 1844? What is on 22 October 1844? You're just marking the judgment. The same, it's the same point. What? what okay. Go, go to Daniel. Go to Daniel. Lee. Gehen wir zu Daniel 8. Mm. Vers 14. Vers 14. It says, and he said unto me, unto 2300 days then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. What does it represent? Was stellt es da? Okay, 
right? And the cytorectum is gereinigt. Okay, so you're making this point. Out. If the side face cleans, what does it represent? Wenn das Cytorectum gereinigt ist, was stellt es da? Right, and if your sins are blotted out, right, what does it represent? Die Sünden sind ausgetilgt und was stellt das da? Okay, let me ask another question. What did Jesus come to do? Was ist Jesus gekommen? Was zu tun? Isaiah 61 also tells you in Matthew when he opened the book, what did he come to do? Isaiah 61 and auch wenn er in Matthäus sagt, dass wenn er das Buch öffnet, zu was ist er gekommen zu tun? <laughs> okay, let, let's read it. Go, go. It's terrible. I try to drag. Um, I can't even think of what I want to say. It doesn't matter. Go to Isaiah 61. Geht zu Jesaja 61. Verse 1. Vers 1. <laughs> terrible that we don't get this point, but nonetheless, it says, "This verse 1. Vers 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He hath anointed me." To preach good tidings unto the meek, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Okay, so what's it marking? That's Marketus. Yes, deliverance from captivity. Die Befreiung von der Gefangenschaft. It's important that, that you see that, right? Das ist wichtig, dass wir das sehen. Okay, so... This one is marking the executive judgment, and this one, which parallels it, right, it's marking the point where you're set free from your sin. You're set free from your captivity. Right? Das markiert das ausführende Gericht, und das markiert, wenn du jetzt von deiner Gefangenschaft, von deiner Sünde befreit bist. Okay, we know if we come back to this, right, it's the three days where you come out of Egypt, right? Und hier sind die drei Tage, wenn du aus Ägypten rauskommst. Third day, temple is... Am dritten Tag ist der Tempel Rebuilt. gebaut. Okay, okay. So, now we get the point, right? Verstehen wir jetzt den Punkt? There's always a blessing and a curse, right? Es gibt immer einen Segen und einen Fluch. Go to Daniel 12. Geht zu Daniel 12. Speaking about the 1335, right? Ich spreche über die 1335. And when did the 1335 end? Und wann haben die 1335 geendet? Okay, October 22nd, 1844, right? 26. Oktober 1844. Vers 12. Vers 12. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred five and thirty days. So what do you get at the end? Was bekommen am Ende? The blessing, right? Den Segen. 1798, what is that? Was ist 1798? The curse, right? Der Fluch. Okay, that, that's the point. This is the curse. Das ist der Fluch. And this is the blessing. Und right? das ist der Segen. Okay, so now go back to Daniel 9, right? Jetzt geht zurück zu Daniel 9. And verse 2 again, right? Und nochmal Vers 2. It says, In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem, right? So Daniel was understanding about the 70 years, right? Daniel had über die 70 Jahre verstanden. Okay, so let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Right? Zum Buch Jeremiah. And let's begin going to Jeremiah chapter 25. Zu Jeremiah 25. Verse 12. Vers 12. <coughs> It says, and it shall come to pass, when seventy years are accomplished, that I will punish the king of Babylon. What is that? Was ist das? The curse. The curse, Der right? Fluch. Now there's another seventy years, which is not running parallel to this. There's a three-year difference, right? Es gibt eine weitere 70 Jahre, und die ist nicht parallel dazu. Da ist drei Jahre Unterschied. Go to uh, Jeremiah 29, in, in verse 10. Jeremiah 29, in verse 10. It says, For thus saith the Lord, that after seventy years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good work towards you in causing you to return to this place. What's this? What is this? 
you're set free, right? Du bist freigesetzt, It's the blessing, right? Es ist der Segen. Okay, right? So what does the book of Jeremiah, uh, sorry, what does the book of Daniel chapter 9 do, the same as Daniel 7 and 8? Was macht das Buch von uh, Daniel 9, dasselbe wie bei Daniel 7 und 8? Right, but the, the, the point I want you to, to make, right? Zeigt den Segen und den Fluch, also das beides, aber der Punkt, den ich machen möchte. Right, is that 70 years brings you to here and 70 years brings you to here, historically. Historisch gesehen haben die 70 Jahre hierhin geführt und die anderen 70 Jahre hierhin. So, this is 1260, right? Das ist ja auch 1260. <coughs> Prophetically. No, well, I mean, historically, there's 1798, that's a 1260. But we're just putting two different things together, that's all. And I thought that you said also that the 70 historically. No, no, no. We're dealing here. This is the historical. There's 1798 and there's 1844. Two different periods and points in time, right? Also, das ist historisch 1798 und dann 1844 sind zwei verschiedene uh, Zeitpunkte. Historically, this 70 years ended. There's a three year difference between this 70 years when that ended, right? Und historisch gesehen, um, als diese 70 Jahre geendet haben, war ein drei Jahre Unterschied zu als diese 70 geendet hat. But exactly the same is Daniel 7 and 8 is that this 70 years is to be paralleled with this 70 years and they're both teaching the same thing. Aber genauso right? wie bei Daniel 7 und 8 muss diese 70 mit der 70 parallel gesetzt werden und beides lehrt uns eben dasselbe. Right? One is the curse and the other one is the blessing. Right? Das eine ist der Fluch, das andere der Segen. Okay, it's important that we see that because just go, the, the, the quotes that I posted from Daniel in that document. Also right? geht zu den Zitaten, die ich um, in dem Dokument gepostet habe bei Daniel. Because go, go to that document. Geht bitte zu dem Dokument. Um, and the very first quote that's in there. Und das erste Zitat, was da drin the ist. First paragraph. Der erste Absatz. <coughs> They're in German underneath. Also die Deutschen sind da drunter. Okay, so you just go underneath the quote and you'll find the German. Also unter dem Zitat findet man dann auch das Deutsch. Right, it says, no, in the document, uh, there's not different notes. There, in one set of notes, there's English, German, English, German, English, German, all the way down. Also in diesem einen Dokument, da ist immer zuerst das englische Zitat und dann das deutsche Zitat. Right. It says, first paragraph. Erste Absatz. Today the Church of God is free to carry forward to completion the divine plan for the salvation of a lost race. For many centuries, God's people suffered a restriction of their liberties. The preaching of the gospel in its purity was prohibited, and the severest penalties were visited upon those who dared disobey the mandates of men. As a consequence, the Lord's great moral vineyard was almost wholly unoccupied. The people were deprived of the light of God's word. The darkness of error and superstition threatened to blot out the knowledge of true religion. This is the 1260, right? That's the 1260. God's church on earth was as verily in captivity during this long period of relentless persecution as were the children of Israel held captive in Babylon during the period of the exile. So at the end of the 1260, what are they no longer in? Am Ende der 1260, in was sind sie nicht mehr länger? Captivity. Gefangenschaft. So we take the 1260 and we, we, we Daniel 7 and 8 is showing us that 1798 is parallel to 1844 where they're no longer in captivity, right? Wir nehmen die 1260 und legen es hier hin und Daniel 7 und 8 zeigen uns, dass sie im diese 1798 und 1844 parallel sind und dann sind sie eben nicht mehr in Gefangenschaft. Okay, she parallels the 70 years with the 1260, right? Sie setzt die 70 Jahre mit der 1260 parallel. Okay, so this 70 years here, the second one, is the one where you're set free from your captivity, right? Diese 70 Jahre, die zweite, ist ja diejenige, die, wo du dann frei wirst von der Gefangenschaft. This 70 years is the one where Babylon gets punished. 
Diese 70 Jahre ist, als wenn Babylon bestraft wird. So the same thing you have to do, you have to take them both and put them together, right? Dasselbe muss man wieder tun, man muss sie nehmen und zusammenbringen. Right? Richtig. Easy, because the, the Bible is showing us to do it, right? Das ist sehr einfach, weil die Bibel zeigt uns, dass wir das tun sollen. Right? Follow that thought? Wenn wir dem Gedanken folgen. Okay, so, okay, so, let's hold your place there. Now, now go to Leviticus, because, no, before we go there, right? Um, verse 3. Also lesen wir hier noch Vers 3. He says, so, so first of all, Daniel is reading what Jeremiah says about the 70 years, right? Also in Daniel 9, Vers 3, und zuerst mal liest äh, jetzt Daniel über die 70 Jahre, was Jeremia sagt. Now we know that Jeremiah, Joel, Ezekiel, Zephaniah, etc., etc., they all tell you to weep and sigh and cry for your sins, right? Wir wissen, dass Jeremia und Joel und Jesaja und Zephaniah und so weiter, die sagen dir, dass du im Wein und seufzen sollst wegen deinen Sünden. Because the day of the Lord is coming. Weil der Tag des Herrn ist nahe. And the day of the Lord is the destruction of Jerusalem, right? Der Tag des Herrn ist die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. Okay, so verse 3. Vers 3. And I set my face unto the Lord to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes, right? So, just hold your place there and go to Jeremiah chapter 4, right? We'll see where Daniel gets this from, right? Verse 5. It says, Declare ye in Judah, and publish in Jerusalem, and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land, cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves, and let us go into the defense cities. Set up the standard towards Zion, retire, stay not. I will bring evil from the north, and a great destruction. The lion has come up from his thicket, the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make the land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. So this is... Gog is coming, right? And Jeremiah's warning, right? So Gog kommt und Jeremia warnt sie. Which is Titus. Der Titus ist. And Titus is going to lay the land desolate, und right? Titus wird das Land wüst legen. For this, gird you with sackcloth, lament and howl, for the fierce anger of the Lord does not turn back from us, right? What is he to do? Was soll er tun? Put on sackcloth and ashes. Sackcloth and ashes anziehen. Okay, so go back to Daniel. Geh zurück zu Daniel. Vers 3. 9, Vers 3. It says, I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to, to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto, the servants, unto thy servants the prophets, which speak in thy name to our kings, to our princes, to our fathers and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day, to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. Right? So Daniel realizes that he's under... This, in this captivity, right? So Daniel um, realisiert, dass er jetzt in der Gefangenschaft ist. So he's obeying the command of the work to do, right? Also er gehorcht jetzt dem Befehl des Werkes, das sie tun sollen. And we will go look at that a bit closer in a moment. Und right? wir werden uns das immer, also gleich noch mal genau anschauen. It says, O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To the Lord our God belong mercies, and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. So, what's he now pleading for? Was bittet er jetzt? Er? For mercy, right? Gnade. Now we know that in this time of trouble, right? Wir wissen, dieser Zeit der Trübsal. So, here's where the book of Daniel is referring to. This 
Time of Trouble, this 1260. Right? It's also a parallel to 70. Right? So da Daniel understands, right, under the captivity, you are to sigh and cry and confess your sins. Right? And you are to ask and seek after Mercy, right? Okay, so when you bring this trouble here, right? This this would be this 70 years, right? We know that you obtain mercy in this time, right? To all those that are sighing and crying and confessing their sins in sackcloth and ashes here, right? Okay, so um, verse 10. It says, Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which, we, which he said before us by his servants, the prophets. Yet all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. So what's he now saying this is? It's the oath or the curse that's written in the book of Moses. Right? Okay, so let's go to Leviticus 26. This is where he takes this from. Right? Now, this again is one of these deep things I don't profess to understand this chapter. Because this is a parable, right? It's a hidden thing, right? And spiritual things are spiritually discerned. Right? Now we, we, know, we know the historical account of it, right? But believe me, this chapter is very deep, right? Okay, because in Leviticus 26, here you have the blessings and the cursings, right? First 13 verses tell you about the blessings. And then the 14 onwards tells you about the curse, right? And the curse is progressive, right? Okay, so, <laughs> now, in verse... 21, for instance, right? Which is the second seven times. If we go there. Zum Beispiel in Vers 21. Das ist das zweite Mal von diesen sieben Zeiten, wenn wir das lesen. It says, And if you walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you, according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. Okay, so where was this Fulfilled this verse. Wo wurde, also wo hat sich dieser Vers erfüllt? Right, when they got taken into Babylon captivity, right? Als die Gefangenschaft nach Babylon gebracht wurden. So let's look at this, right? Schauen wir uns das an. So keep your place here, go to 2 Kings 24. Haltet einen Finger hier, geht zu 2. Könige 24. And then we'll go to Daniel 1. Dann werden wir zu Daniel 1 gehen. Remember, he's looking at the books of Jeremiah about the 70 years, right? Denk daran, er hat sich die Bücher von Jeremia angeschaut über die 70 Jahre. And in 2 Kings 24 and verse 1. 2. Könige 24 und Vers 1. It says, in his days Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up and Jehoiakim became his servant how many years? Wie viele Jahre? Three years. Three years. Drei Jahre. Then he turned and rebelled against him. And the Lord sent against him bands of the Chaldees, and bands of the Syrian, and bands of the Moabites, and bands of the children of Ammon. These are these wild beasts, right? Das sind diese wilden Tiere. Because wild beasts are nations that persecute you, right? Weil wilde Tiere sind Nationen, die dich verfolgen. It says, and sent them against Judah to destroy it according to the word of the Lord which he spake by seven the prophet. This is according to Leviticus 26. Das ist gemäß 3. Mose 26. So, what we understand is that 
here, right? Must be verstehen here. Okay, let's let's do it a bit. Uh, let's go go back. So here you have um, you have Johanna Kim, right? Yes, you are Kim. So we read he comes up and he to Jerusalem and he makes Jehoiak, he bring makes him subservient to him, right? Say it to the thing, not to me, because they need to hear what you're saying. Right? So Jehoiakim is taken into captivity. Right? Also Joachim wird in die Gefangenschaft gebracht. But if you read in the thing, he was released, right? Back to, to continue ruling. Aber wenn man dann äh, das liest, dann wurde er wieder freigelassen und hat weiter geherrscht. He took an oath to obey Nebuchadnezzar, right? Er hat einen ähm, Eid gemacht, ähm, Nebuchadnezzar zu gehorchen. The 70 years in Jeremiah 25 verse 9 began. Die 70 Jahre in Jeremia 25, Vers 9 fing an. It says, and then three years later, he rebelled, right? Sagt, drei Jahre später hat er rebelliert. Right? He comes up against Jehoiakim, right? Dann kommt er wieder gegen Joachim. What does he do to Jehoiakim, right here? Was macht er hier mit Joachim? Um, I'll okay, that's true. No, he comes up and makes an oath with him here. Here he takes him captive, but he lets him go again. That's, that's true. Also hier macht er einen Eid mit ihm und hier nimmt er ihn gefangen, aber später lässt er ihn wieder frei. And the next time he comes up, he kills him. He throws him off the walls. That's the end of Jehoiakim. Right? Und das nächste Mal, wenn er kommt, dann tötet er ihn und wirft ihn den Mauern runter. Und das ist dann das Ende von Jehoiakim. But the point I want to make is that here you have an oath. Right. Und der Punkt, den ich machen will, hier hat man diesen Eid. And he retakes this oath for the second time. Right? Also hier macht er zum zweiten Mal bestätigt er diesen Schwur. Okay. And this takes you to here, and this one takes you to here, right? Das hier bringt dich hierhin und das hier bringt dich hierhin. Right? Because this one is where they get set free. This one is where Babylon gets punished. Bei um, hier werden sie dann freigesetzt und bei dem hier wird Babylon bestraft. Cyrus and Darius come, right? Babylon gets punished. Kyrus und Darius come, Babylon wird bestraft. Three years later, Cyrus sets them free. Drei Jahre später setzt Kyrus sie frei. So the, the three years at the beginning are like just a parallel to the three years at the end, right? Die drei Jahre am Anfang sind also wie eine Parallele zu den drei Jahren am Ende. Okay, so I just want you to, to see that the fulfillment of Leviticus 26, the second, is marking the beginning of this 70 years here, right? Ich möchte euch sehen lassen, dass die Erfüllung von 3. Mose 26 ähm, dann ähm, diese 70 hier markiert. Okay, because, just hold your place, go, go back to... Um, Go to, back to Jeremiah 29 and verse 10. Also, it's very important that we read this and understand it. Halt den Finger hier und geht zu Jeremia 29, Vers 10. Das ist sehr wichtig, dass wir das nochmal lesen und verstehen. Because in verse 10 it says, Jeremia 29, Vers 10. For thus saith the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon. So where does this 70 years begin? Wo fangen diese 70 Jahre an? When they're from taken to Babylon, also right? Wenn sie nach Babylon genommen, in Gefangenschaft genommen werden. Okay, so this is where Jehoiakim is taken to Babylon, right? Hier wird Jehoiakim nach Babylon genommen. So, now go to Daniel chapter 1. Jetzt geht zu Daniel 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. It says, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim. 
Where are we? Rosenberg. Yes, Joachim. First year, right? Yes, Joachim's first year. Third year, right? Yes, third year. But he, he comes up now with these wild beasts, right? After the third year, right? Mit diesen wilden Tieren heraufkommt nach dem dritten Jahr. It says, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shina, to the house of his God, and he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. So where are we on a line? Wo sind wir auf unserer Linie? It's Daniel chapter 1. Where are we on a line? Daniel 1, wo sind wir auf der Linie? Right, it's this yeah. here. This this time of tribulation, right? Anfang der sechsten Plage. Das ist diese Zeit der Trübse. The seventy years parallels it, right? Siebzig Jahre sind dazu parallel. So from this, when Daniel, he's understanding that they have been taken into captivity here, right? And what did he immediately start doing in Daniel 9? Also da hat, hat Daniel verstanden, hier wurden sie in Gefangenschaft gebracht und deswegen hat, was hat Daniel sofort angefangen zu tun in Daniel 9? Stein, crying, weeping, etc. Right? Seufzen, klagen und weinen und so weiter. So, so go back to Leviticus 26. Geht zurück zu 3. Mose 26. Because this is where it becomes complicated, right? Weil hier wird es kompliziert. If it's not already complicated in your mind. Falls es noch nicht kompliziert ist, neu verstanden. So, when you come down to the fourth seven times, right, in verse 28. Gehen wir jetzt in Vers 28 zu dem vierten Mal der sieben Zeiten. It says, then I will walk contrary unto you, and also in fury, and I even I will chastise you seven times for your sins, and ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. Now, what's this marking? Was markiert das? Okay, historically it's the destruction of Jerusalem, right? Historisch gesehen war es die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. It says, and I will destroy your high places, and cut down your images, and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you, and I will make your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries into desolation. I will not smell the savour of your sweet odours, and I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths. Right? Bis Vers 34. Okay. As long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbath. Right. So let's understand that now. Lass uns das jetzt verstehen. What, what Sabbaths are, is the land going to enjoy? Welche Sabbate wird das Land ruhen? You know, the yearly Sabbaths. Die jährlichen Sabbate. Okay. So every seven years... The land was to rest, right? So it's talking about every the, the Sabbath here is this every seventh year, right? Sabbath here is in jedes siebte Jahr. Okay. So go to Second Chronicles chapter thirty-six. Geht zu zweiter Chronik 36. This is why the Bible is a puzzle that spiritual things need to be spiritually discerned. Right? Die Bibel ist ein Puzzle und geistliche Dinge müssen geistlich erkannt werden. And go to verse 15. It says, And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. And they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Okay, now hold your place there, right, and go to Matthew 22. Because Matthew 22 marks the same point. Verse 4. 
It says, Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them that which were bidden, bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my ox and my fatlings are killed. Of all things are ready come to the marriage. So what did Christ do? Was hat Christus getan? Send messengers to them. Er hat zu ihnen Botschafter gesagt. Tell them that the marriage is ready, they need to come, er right? Er hat gesagt, dass die Hochzeit bereit ist, sie müssen kommen. This is Jeremiah, Joel, etc., etc., right? Das ist Jeremia, Joel und so weiter. It says, And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. This is the fourth, seventh time in Leviticus 26 we just read. Right? It says, Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths. Right? So go back. To Second Chronicles. Geht jetzt zurück zur zweiten Chronik. Vers 36. 36. Vers 17. Vers 17. So the Lord sent the messengers and they mocked them, right? Der Herr hat Botschafter gesandt und sie haben sie verspottet. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees, who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary and had no compassion upon young man or maiden, old man or him that stood for age. What is that? Was ist das? That's Ezekiel 9. It's Ezekiel 9. Right? They go through the midst of the city and slay young and old. Right? They go through the midst of the city and they slay young and old. And all the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his princes, all these he brought to Babylon. And they burnt the house of God and break down the walls of Jerusalem and burnt all the palaces thereof with fire and destroyed all the goodly vessels thereof. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon, where they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia. So until you get to the end, right? Bis man zum Ende kommt. Right? It says, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath. Look what it says. For as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath to fulfill three score and ten years. So what is Ezra doing? Was macht Ezra? Ezra wrote the book of Chronicles. Ezra right? hat das Buch von Chronik geschrieben. He's taken Leviticus 26, right? Er nimmt 3. Mose 26. Marking from the destruction of Jerusalem. Markiert es von der Zerstörung von Jerusalem an. And apply it to the 70 years of Jeremiah. Und wendet es auf die 70 Jahre von Jeremia an. Right? Because it says to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath for as long as she lay desolate she kept Sabbath to fulfill 70 years. Um 70 Jahre zu erfüllen. Now this is obviously a spiritual understanding, right? Das ist natürlich ein geistliches Verständnis. The 70 years were a 70 years continuous, right? Die 70 Jahre waren eine beständige 70 Jahre. Okay, but Ezra takes that fulfillment of these 70 years and applies it to the, la the land resting, enjoying her Sabbaths, right? Und, aber Jeremia nimmt die 70 Jahre und wendet es auf die Landruhe an, wenn sie ihre Sabbate genießt. So 7 times 70 is what? Und 70 mal 7 is what? 490. 490. <laughs> this is where it gets bizarre, right? Und hier wird es bizarre. Okay, 490 years. 490 right? Jahre. Every seventh year would be a Sabbath, Jedes right? Jedes siebte Jahr wäre ein Sabbat. Giving you 70 Sabbaths, right? Gibt dir 70 Sabbate. So what I believe the Holy Spirit is trying to do is tie in the 70 years with the 490 years, right? Also ich denke, möchte der Heilige Geist tun, die 70 Jahre mit den 490 Jahren verknüpfen. But from the destruction of Jerusalem. Aber von der Zerstörung von Jerusalem an. Right? Right, that's what it's marking. In Leviticus 26, Matthew 22, and also here in 2 Chronicles. Das markiert es in 3. Mose 26, in Matthäus 22 und in 2. Kronen. So, go back now to Daniel 9. Geht jetzt zurück zu Daniel. This is why I'm saying spiritual things are spiritual, dis, dis, spiritually discerned. Right? Deswegen sage ich, dass geistliche Dinge geistlich verstanden werden müssen. Because 
I still don't fully understand this, right? Ich, uh, das noch nicht But that's, that's regardless of what I don't understand. I'm giving you what the Bible is showing. So when you go back to Daniel 9, Gehen wir zurück zu Daniel 9. In, in fact, excuse me, excuse me, before we go back to, to Daniel 9, right? Bevor wir zu Daniel 9 zurückgehen. Go, go back to Leviticus 26, excuse me. Geht so noch mal. It, we need to read something here first. Also wir müssen noch mal etwas in 3. Mose 26 lesen. So we read that in verse 28 onwards was the destruction of Jerusalem where the land was going to enjoy our Sabbaths, right? Wir haben gelesen von Vers 28 voran, dass die Zerstörung von Jerusalem, wenn das Land seine Sabbate genießen wird. Okay, and then in verse 40. Jetzt Vers 40. And it says, if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they have trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary to me, and that I also have walked contrary to them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abram, will I remember, and I will remember the land. The land also shall be left of them, and shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lieth desolate without them, and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because even because they despise my judgments, because their soul abhorred my statutes. Right? So when you brought into this captivity, right? Vers 43, wenn du jetzt in die Gefangenschaft gebracht wirst, you have to confess your sins and the sins of your fathers. So, right? so, deine Sünden und die Sünde deiner Väter bekennen. so go back to Daniel 9 now, right? Geht jetzt zurück zu Daniel 9. In verse 11. In Vers 11. And this is where we finished in Daniel 9. Und da haben wir auch gehört in Daniel 9. It says, Yea, all Israel have trans transgressed against thy law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, Vers thy 11. servant of God, because we have sinned against him, and he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven hath not been done that has been done upon Jerusalem. The destruction of Jerusalem. Right? As it is written in the law of Moses. That's Leviticus 26. All this evil has come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore hath the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us, for the Lord our God is righteous in all his works which he doeth, for we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Lord God, that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and has gotten thee renowned as it is this day, we have sinned and done wickedly. O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger and thy fury be turned away from thy city Jerusalem by thy holy mountain because of our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers. What's Daniel do? What's not Daniel? And the sins of the fathers, according to Leviticus 26. So Daniel is understanding Leviticus 26, Jeremiah, Ezra, he's, he's understanding all these things, right? Also Daniel versteht 3. Mose 26, Jeremia und Ezra und all diese Dinge. Right, okay. So, um, Okay, what's my my point now? Okay, so we we've been looking at um, the structure of Daniel, right? Und wir haben uns ja die Struktur von Daniel angeschaut. In in both the times of trouble, you have lion, bear, leopard, dragon, right? In beiden Zeiten der Trübsal haben wir Löwe, Bär, Leopard und Drache. And we see that every chapter is focusing in on this experience, right? Wir sehen, dass jedes Kapitel sich auf diese Erfahrung fokussiert. But what I want us to uh, at least to see from Leviticus 26 and, and 
Ezra and sorry from Second Chronicles and Matthew 22 is that these um, land enjoying our Sabbaths for 70 years, right, or spiritually is marking, is marking from the destruction of Jerusalem. Right. Und was ich möchte, dass wir sehen von 3. Mose 26, Matthäus 22 und 2. Chronik, dass diese 70 Jahre, wenn das Land seine Sabbate genießt, von hier, also nach der Zerstörung von Jerusalem an sind. Because the 70 years that, um, the 70 years that Daniel was under went from the second seven times, right? Weil die 70 Jahre unter der Daniel war, ging ja von dem zweiten sieben Zeiten. Yeah, yes? Yeah. Yeah, then second seven times. I was saying, well, beasts among you, that's what happened. And then they went into captivity. Right? Okay, so the point is that, that Daniel is understanding the 70 years of Jeremiah, right? Und das Daniel versteht die 70 Jahre von Jeremia. Yet he's praying according to Leviticus 26. Aber er betet gemäß 3. Mose 26. Same as what Jeremiah tells him to do because the day of the Lord is coming, das right? Dasselbe, was auch ähm, also Jeremia ihm sagt, dass er tun soll, weil die äh, weil der Tag des Herrn kommt. And the day of the Lord is coming is the destruction of Jerusalem. Und der Tag des Herrn, der kommt, ist die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. Which is here. Und das ist hier. But yet it tells us in Leviticus 26 when the destruction of Jerusalem comes, they're going to be scattered for 70 Sabbaths, right? Also es sagt, wenn die Zerstörung von Jerusalem kommt, werden sie zerstreut werden für diese 70 Sabbate. Okay. And, and we know that 70 times 7 is 490, right? Wir wissen, dass 70 mal 7 490 ist. Okay, so... Just like Daniel, I don't understand this, right? Genauso wie Daniel verstehe ich das nicht. So just go to verse 20. Geht zu Vers 20. And while I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel. So why, why don't we understand this? Warum verstehen wir das nicht? Because we have not got our hearts broken yet, right? Weil unsere Herzen noch nicht zerbrochen sind. When our hearts are broken, and he gives us wisdom and understanding in all visions and dreams, then we will understand this, right? This, this great parable, right? Wenn unsere Herzen zerbrochen sind und er uns ein Verständnis in allen Visionen und Träumen gibt, dann werden wir dieses hier verstehen, dieses große Gleichnis. Okay, it, it's, it's a mystery, right? It's hidden. Es ist ein Geheimnis, es ist verborgen. It says, yeah, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. So here's this, when he gets touched, right? Yes, that's when he berührt wird. And he informed me and talked with me and said, Oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. So when our hearts are humbled in the dust, we will understand this. Bis right? Vers 22, also wenn unsere Herzen in den Staub gedemütigt sind, werden wir es verstehen. Vers 23. Vers 23. It says, at the beginning of thy supplications, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved, therefore understand the matter and consider the vision. What's the vision? Was ist die Vision? Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Bis 2300 Tage, dann wird das Heiligtum gereinigt sein. Right? Richtig. That's the vision, right? Das ist die Vision. But he explains it next verse, right? Dann erklärt er das im nächsten Vers. It says, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. What is 70 weeks? Was sind 70 Wochen? 490 years. 490 Jahre. Right? So he's understanding the 70 years and he's also understanding now 490 years. Er right? versteht jetzt die 70 um, Jahre und auch die 490 Jahre. Right? But in Leviticus 26 and Ezra chapter 2, it links the 490 years from the destruction of Jerusalem forward, right? In 3. Mose 26 and um, is it Ezra? 
Ja, Ezra, sorry, Second Chronicles, which is Ezra's writings. Ah, okay, also von 3. Mose 26 und 2. Chronik äh, 36 markiert er diese 70 äh, Jahre äh, nach der Zerstörung von Jerusalem. Ja, yeah, the 70 Sabbaths. Die 70 Sabbat right, right. Sabbatjahre. Okay, which is the 490 years. Was 490 Jahre sind. Okay, so this is a big puzzle, right? Das ist ein großes Puzzle. And the wise will understand it, right? So we need to be wise in order to understand this, right? Die Weisen werden es verstehen, deswegen wir müssen weise sein, damit wir es verstehen können. It says, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks, these score and two weeks, shall be built again in the wall even in troubles times. So according to our studies, where does the command go forth? Gemäß unseren Studien, wo geht der Befehl vorwärts? The end of what? Where? It's the command to restore and build Jerusalem. Okay, uh, simple. Where does the 2300 begin? Wo fängt die 2300 an? Okay, here, right? Here. Right, that's where you're set free and you're set forth now, right, to, to do that work. Da bist du freigesetzt und uh, jetzt wirst du dieses Werk tun. Okay, that's the beginning of the 2300 and it brings, it goes from judgment to judgment, right? Das ist der Anfang der 2300 und es geht von Gericht <coughs> bis Gericht. Right? Okay, so the 490 begins here, right? 490 fang hier an. Okay, so now if we understand this is the destruction of Babylon, right? Das ist ja die Zerstörung von Babylon. What's this? Was ist das? Destruction of Jerusalem. Zerstörung von Jerusalem. What's marking from here forward then? Was ist dann von hier vorwärts markiert? 490 years. 490 Jahre. Okay, so somehow there's like this, this bigger and smaller factor again. I don't profess to understand, I'm just laying out the things that I can see, right? Also irgendwie gibt es eben das größere und das kleinere Fraktal und äh, ich verstehe das noch nicht ganz, aber ich sehe, zeige nur das, was ich sehe. Okay, and what I'm try, trying to at least relate, this chapter is closed up to us, right? Und was ich eigentlich zeigen möchte, ist, dass dieses Kapitel uns äh, verschlossen ist. Okay, and we, we need to be humbled in the dust in order to have this, understand this, right? Und wir müssen in den Stab gedemütigt sein, damit wir das hier verstehen können. Because this is the same as chapter 10, right? Weil das ist dasselbe wie in Kapitel 10. So, when we come to chapter 10, we, we can know what it's illustrating, right? Wenn wir zu Kapitel 10 kommen, können wir wissen, was es darstellt. But we cannot have that experience until we reach this here in verse 21, right? Und wir können nicht diese Erfahrung haben, bis wir das in Vers 21 erreichen. And what I'm trying to say is the whole book of Daniel is trying to show us that this is this experience that we need to have, right? Was ich versuche zeigen, äh, zu zeigen, ist, dass das ganze Buch Daniel zeigt, dass das die Erfahrung ist, die wir brauchen. If you don't have this experience, what will you have? Wenn du diese Erfahrung nicht hast, was wirst du haben? It's only one other choice. Es gibt nur eine andere Wahl. That's the blessing. What's that? Das ist der Segen. Was ist das? The curse, right? Der Fluch. Okay. So the curse is pronounced. The Daniel says the curse is pronounced upon us, right? And we will be cursed for eternity if we don't receive this blessing. Right? Daniel sagt ja, der Fluch ist über uns ausgesprochen. Wir werden für alle Ewigkeit verflucht werden, wenn wir nicht dieses Verständnis erhalten. Okay. And um, just to see what it takes you down to, right? It says, um, go to verse 26. It says, and after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city. So it's pointing forward to the destruction of Jerusalem, just like Jeremiah, right? And the sanctuary... And the end thereof shall be with a flood, and to the end of the war desolations are determined. 
and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Now, this week, right? This week here. It's daily and um, it's Christ, right? It's das tägliche und dann Christus. Okay, that's the the daily sacrifices which was replaced by the new covenant under Christ, right? Das sind die täglichen Opfer, die ersetzt wurden unter dem neuen Bund. Durch Christus. Okay, but we know the counterfeit of that is in Daniel 8, right? Wir wissen, die Fälschung davon ist in Daniel 8. Just go back to Daniel 8, right? Geht noch mal zurück zu Daniel 8. Uh, Vers 13. <coughs> Vers 13. <coughs> Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint we speak, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? Right, and it's until 2,300 days, right? It's five to 2,300 days. Okay, so 2,300 days here to here, right? Also 2,300 days from here to here. Daily, right, takes you down to the, well, I mean, if you include this as the 1260, this would be the daily, and then you would have the transgression of desolation. Right? So when man here this 1260 here hin macht, then wäre das das tägliche. Und hier die Übertretung der Verwüstung. Okay, but um, the point I'm trying to make is on this, the smaller fractal, the, there you have the cross, right? Der Punkt, den ich machen möchte, also auf dem kleineren Fraktal ist hier das Kreuz. And in Daniel 8, it shows you the daily, false daily, the, the pagan Rome, followed by the transgression of desolation, The false Christ. Right? Und Daniel 8 zeigt das eben das tägliche, also und, äh, ist das, Daily? Ah, das heidnische Rom und dann die Übertretung der Verwüstung, das ist ein falscher Christus. Okay, which is a counterfeit of this, right? Das ist eine Fälschung von dem hier. So somehow this last week has got to do with this time period. Right? Irgendwie hat diese letzte Woche mit dieser Zeitspanne hier zu tun. Because it brings you down, go back to Daniel 9. Naja, wenn wir zurück zu Daniel 9 gehen. Vers 27. Vers äh, 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. That's Daniel 7 and verse 9. Das ist Daniel 7, Vers 9. Until Rome is punished, right? Das Rom bestraft. Which is here. Was hier ist. Right, so you might be totally confused by this chapter, right? <laughs> But I think there's a lot of light in what we've just looked at, right? Because Daniel 7 and 8 has already set the precedence. That these two things here, the blessing and the curse, Are brought together, dass right? diese beiden Dinge, der Segen und der Fluch, zusammengebracht werden. These two 70 years in Jeremiah are brought together. Dass diese zwei, beiden 70 Jahre in Jeremia zusammengebracht werden. Okay, and they're also likened unto the period, right, after the destruction of Jerusalem. Und sie werden auch verglichen mit der Zeitspanne nach der Zerstörung von Jerusalem. Okay, so there's, there's a lot we have to understand from that. Es gibt viel, was wir davon verstehen müssen. Okay, so... Okay, I have nothing more to say, but if anybody's inspired with any thoughts, then please feel free to write in or let me know your thoughts. Also, ich habe nichts mehr äh, dazu zu sagen, aber wenn jemand inspiriert der wird, irgendwelche Gedanken zu äußern, dann fühlt euch frei, mir zu schreiben oder mir zu sagen. Okay, but by God's grace, if we confess the sins and the sins of the fathers, We will understand it, right? durch Gottes Gnade, wenn wir unsere Sünden und die Sünden unserer Väter bekennen, werden wir es verstehen. Okay, on that thought, let's uh, close with our round of prayer. Mit diesen Gedanken lasst uns mit unserer Gebetsrunde abschließen.